As the government prepares to unveil its housing plan today, a timely report from the Banking and Payments Federation estimates that the country is on course for the completion of about 22,000 housing units this year and up to 27,000 next year. Brian Hayes is CEO of the Banking and Payments Federation and therein lies the problem for the government, Brian, although the the indicators are pointing to quite a decent outcome in the context of the pandemic, we're not nearly hitting the target that's needed. Well, that is the problem, uh, Brian, as you rightly say. But, I mean, our our report today shows a very strong pipeline of new housing units coming to the market and also a strong pipeline of of new credit from from Irish lenders, from Irish banks. There's a significant uptick and improvement in housing activity in uh, the last uh, quarter. And all of the factors seem to be going in the right direction. And if you look at completions for the first half of 2021, we saw about 9,000 units coming uh, to the market. That's a 10% increase from the same period last year, and it's only 1% less than where we were in 2019. So in building terms, we're back at the pre-pandemic levels, given all of the difficulties that the construction uh, sector has faced in the last uh, year and a half or so. Uh, We reckon that we we should hit about 22,000 new units this year. If that rate continues into next year, it should be about 26,000. And it is it is off where we need to be, but uh, we are getting there slowly but surely. And on the supply front, are we building the right kinds of houses? Are we moving towards a better balance of uh, apartments and houses, for example? I think we are. I mean, our report today shows that uh, apartment building ha- has increased. We do need more uh, apartments, and um, particularly apartments built around good transport corridors where there's significant density. Uh, You know, in terms of new homes to apartments, uh, the the ratio in Ireland is very, very skewed vis-a-vis other uh, European Union countries. And given the the increasing birth, uh, the reduction in birth rate, actually, but the increase in population that we've seen in the census figures this week, um, we we do need to have a variety of housing types, and that requires more apartments there. And the capital uh, appears to be accounting for a smaller proportion of total developments. Is that a, a response to the pandemic exodus that we've been hearing about, uh, or is it something that was happening anyway? Yeah, the trend was uh, evident some years before COVID, um, and it, it started some, some years ago, where, where this, this increase in um, the total number of units outside of the Dublin region, especially with what we've seen in the commuter belt beside, beside Dublin. In H1 of this year, Dublin accounted for about 28% of housing completions. Uh, in 2017, it was about 40%. So you do see, in terms of the number of new commencements and completions, that the regions and the regional capacity has increased. And that will only grow, I suspect, as we get used to the new model of blended working or working from home a number of days a week. And so that's really significant. But I think the, the key aspect of our report uh, today, Brian, highlights the very significant new credit pipeline that is coming from, from Irish banks. Uh, we have put out through the front door as, as the banking industry close to 19,000 new mortgage drawdowns uh, in the H1 of this year. And that's an increase of about 22% in, in, in volume terms and about 26% in value terms. Um, it's making a big difference. Banks are lending. We're seeing a lot of actual competition in the market, but we're also seeing banks delivering for first-time buyers in excess of 51% of all of the new drawdowns are to first-time buyers. So we are getting there, and I think that's important in terms of delivering the very significant ambition that the government have in this area. And certainly plenty of demand for mortgages and houses. Brian Hayes, CEO of the Banking and Payments Federation, thank you. 